Hey, it's Scott and Bart with the Scotch Test Dummies. Today we're coming at you with part two of our last great malts edition based on volume one. Volume one. Uh, we've done Craig Gellicky. Craig Gellicky, very nice. And today? Aberfeldy. And we're going to talk about Omaha. Apparently their schools don't want to call little children boys and girls. Oh, that's bad. No, you got to find something gender neutral. Let's test it. Test it. All right, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and we're back. Uh, today, it's uh, episode two. We're talking about this lovely presentation of the Great Malts, volume one from Doers. Um, Bruno loves this so much, he doesn't want to disturb it. Okay. No, no. If you haven't watched the Kregeliki, I love saying that just because I sound really, really sexy. Kregeliki. Because Scottish people are sexy. Yes. <laughs> We are sexy, sexy men. We're a couple. We are some Americans. Dapper fellows. We're dapper. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, go watch the Craig Gellicky. It's out of the same box. Today we're going to test the Aberfeldy 12. It's out of it. We'll, we'll, we, sh we really showcase the packaging and stuff in the Craig Gellicky review. Uh, we've pulled out our Glen Karens Thank from you. it. Um, but quickly, let's talk about Omaha, Nebraska School District. And I love Omaha, but apparently the school district has decided that they don't want to refer to little boys and girls as... Boys and girls. It <laughs> must be bad. Yes. I don't know why girls are girls, boys are boys. Should we call them it, lads and lasses? Is it the society that we're in that... I mean, everything's complained about. You keep, not everybody's happy. You got to always find something to mess with. I don't know what it is. Why would who? Would, how much has this cost the Omaha uh, taxpayers to debate whether they should call boys and girls boys and girls or some other gender neutral term that doesn't create this friction? I guess between boys and girls. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, to me, it's just like you said. I mean, come on, boys and girls. I mean, what? There's nothing there. I mean, it's men and women. Should we get rid of that? Maybe. No, well, one of the suggestions. No, no. One of the suggestions they actually came up with was purple penguins. I mean, this is one of the many terms that they. Someone came said up with. we should call the children purple. Yeah, penguins. what's one of the terms instead of boys and girls? They're purple penguins. In Spanish, they pronounce that pinguina. Pinguina. Just throwing out a little Spanish fact. That means danger. <laughs> that means penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Silliness, political the, correctness. Um, ah, come I mean, on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, really? Is that on. what that's what you've got? Yeah. You don't have any other issues to spend your time on, on. this don't, Omaha school board. Shouldn't we focus on science and math? Just yeah, saying. Instead of Yeah, what girls. we're gonna call people. Come on. I mean Break the label, man. You can call me a boy, and I might be 12, and I'll tell you I'm a man. I don't even know what that means. All right. Well, let's talk about... Oh, well, first of all, I wanted to tell you, there is a cool little side there story a, on this box. It says a tale of two whiskeys. A tale of two whiskeys, and they've got like this... It's like almost the beginning of a movie, a movie you may even recognize, at least to me. This is verbatim. I'm going to read this a little bit. Yeah, this is... I'm not ad-libbing here. A tale of two whiskeys a long time ago. In a highlands far, far away, two whiskeys ruled the land. One hailed from the craggy cliffs of Speyside, a nasty, fire-breathing beast called Craigalachi. 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 I know, I did that on the Kansas deal. Craigalachi. The other was born from a golden stream, a sweet, pure soul called Aberfeldy. Now they're ready to invade your shelves. If you let them. <laughs> oh, so, let them. I'm letting them, That's baby. kind of funny, though. There's actually a Star Wars tie in there. And it a feels lot of, like it. We grew up with Star Wars, and some of our reviews have included Star Wars it, stuff. It feels like a Star and Wars here deal, is, but it's kind of just a fairy tale, too, just, right? Well, just a long time ago in a galaxy, galaxy far, 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 far away. away. And this is in a highlands Island's far, far, far away. So they Very even true. tie in themselves. Love you guys. Doers, way to go with the little Star Wars tie in. Love it. Now, what we understand, uh, Dewar's has, has acquired five distilleries. Yes. Um, they're going to... Single malts. They're going to showcase all five. Beautiful showcasing. Um, this one includes the Craig Gellicky, which we've done. Right. And today we're doing the Aberfeldy 12. Love it. Um, now, the Aberfeldy... We pulled out the Glencairns. There's one on each side of the box. One from the 
Yeah. Uh, Craig Gellicky. Box is literally split. In I just half. like saying that. I'm so, say that I know. Much. He likes saying it. That's Craig why Gellicky. we keep working in the Kansas pronunciation of Craig Alachi. Craig Alachi. <laughs> Sorry, That's what guys. I thought when I first I saw the Craig. I've never heard of Craig yeah. There's Kansas people like, why do they keep calling it uh, Craig Gellicky? That's Craig Alachi. That's what we call it. All so, right, Aberfeldy 12. Uh, they have changed, the Kansas. changed their package or their uh, labeling up a little Show bit. The They've water. got a new. This blew me away. This and the, the gift pack here comes with a small bottle of water. From this the spring fed. is actually yes. from the spring that Aberfeldy yes. uses. Wax top to make the scotch. We will be using that. Um, they do kind of showcase or highlight or talk about that this stream is full of gold yes. and they used to pan for gold in it but yeah. one of the queens or the queen gold has pan. since um, you can't pan in it anymore. you can't yeah, pan it's in the queen's anymore. property the queen's so there's property. no more panning which doesn't so, seem quite fair to me but this, i'm glad you guys didn't separate that's all i'm saying this water is from that stream <laughs> so let's and, dig in and we'll use that to add to our scotch so presentation over the top, a love it, plus. love it, love it, a love plus. the presentation. This is like a, a mage's spell book, like he's casting spells from here. You know, go Oop. forth, a mage. Come on, man, you're you a fan got, of Tolkien. You got way too much time on your hands. <laughs> I'm a little bit nerdy. I love everything I like fantasy, sci-fi, gaming related, and Star Wars or Star Trek. Nerd alert. And... I bring my nerdishness to the scotch. He tries to mock me on occasion, but I own it. I own the nerdiness. What do you got here? I'm gonna break this one open. I'm just Get breaking water. open the you water. You betcha. Let's <laughs> smell it. <laughs> I think it's gonna smell like water. So um, it does have a use by date, which was pretty cool. You gotta use it by uh, oh, 530 of 2016. So there's no point in saving the water. You just need to use it. Are we gonna do a little neat first? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, and where then are I we wanna at get this percentage. water in here. So where are we at on there? Uh, 40%. Ooh, it's got this delicious, sweet flavored nose to it. Wow. Mm, yes. Wow, it's like sponge sugar with, with a fruit. My mouth's already watering. <laughs> Holy yeah, moly. Yeah, it is very citrusy. Oh my goodness, I get like a... Now they, wow, a fruit taffy. Like a taffy that's like a... Like a strawberry taffy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm loving this one already, baby. Woo. A little bit. Uh-huh. A little bit darker, mm. almost, I think. Sherry. Mm. Um, and there should be a little bit of peat, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of peat in the taste. I don't, I'm not smelling any. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that, oh yeah. There's a little bit of peatiness. Hmm. There is some plum raisin in here, baby. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's like it's mm. been in a sherry cask. Holy moly! I just want to smell it some more. Hold on, I gotta open that up. Mm. That was very smooth on the mouth as soon as I put it in. Oh. Yeah. And started to um, let it soak in the smoothness of it. Um, no, absolutely no burn at forty percent. Okay, this... I didn't get any smoke or any peat on the taste oh, even yeah. there. I got Did a little, little bit of peat, a little bit of peat in the aftertaste. Boy, I could smell this all day till Sunday. Wow. All right, let's go with a the sweet, golden water. That sweet, sweet, like uh, like I said, like a sweet taffy, fruity smell. Hmm. Mm. Are you ready to curl up in the <laughs> cask with it and just mm -hmm. sleep with it? I'm gonna get in that display box and let just the warmth just cuddle, of it. just cuddle up like a little blanket. Let the warmth of it. Just <laughs> we got a cold wind blowing. In. This is perfect Scotch weather. It's okay. raining outside. A mm. little bit more on the nose there with the water. I get a real nice coating of the mouth feel. Uh, I'm just telling you, definitely that plum raisin with the peaty aftertaste. Are you getting that? I haven't tried it with the water yet. I didn't get mm. any of the peat. Oh, yeah. Neat. So, and I'm not getting any on the nose. No, you don't get it on either. the nose. Hmm. It's very... That peat's in the aftertaste. After your first swallow, really get a good inhalation through your nose. 
and you're going to pick up that peat moss. Because the regular nose is a lovely sponge sugar. I don't know what sponge sugar is. Ah, it's just an overwhelming sweetness. Um, when you when you get that sponge mm. sugar, it's just this a is sweet, a... sweet, rich aroma. Yeah, I can't. You don't get the peat after No, you... uh -uh. I, st I still get the peat. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. It is really smooth, though. It's really... Are you getting that plum raisin? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of the darker fruit. I actually got a little bit more of the fruit when we had it neat. Mm. I get more of the fruit on the nose Still with there. the water. Still there, lovely. And then it tails off into that peaty, peaty smoke. Just a mm. slight hint of the ash. And just trails off, takes about 30 seconds. I can keep bringing it in as long as I'm breathing in, doing a little bit of mouth and nose breathing. I'm gonna have some more when we turn the camera off. Mm -hmm. You may that. not. I'm gonna <laughs> fight you over this bottle. This is me and my blankie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving this. Wow. It's delicious. Mm. It's good. If you're a boy or a girl, <laughs> or you a, may enjoy. A lad or a lass, a man or a woman, mm -hmm. you may enjoy this. Whiskey Lassie would enjoy this. Scotch Trooper would enjoy this. Both of the the uh, father-son clan, <laughs> yeah. call them out, name them. Django and Boba? No. Are we on who? Talking about our, our Twitter buddies. Oh, Scott, or I mean uh, Sam and Zach. Bingo. Mm -mm. Spears. Mm -hmm. Spears 56, which is Papa. Yeah. <laughs> and I always forget. What's 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 Junior? Just Zach Spears. I Zach think. Spears. Okay, I always forget. Way to go, Papa. <laughs> I think they're from Jersey. Jersey. They had yeah. a tasting the other day, man, that they posted on Twitter. I wanted to fly yeah, out yeah, there. Like Do you see that? I don't, know if it was a I don't think it was a tasting. I okay. think it, it was, was just a, a, uh, a, it was a Fandango, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it looked good. I, almost, I wanted to fly on out, baby. I wish I was East Coast. Instead, I was, was hanging the, out. I, I was, think that was the Saturday night Jersey. Uh, yes. Uh, I was hanging out in the Bash. sod house. Uh, yeah, I was in the sod house going, please take me to Jersey. Please <laughs> let me go to Jersey. Oh, man. You got to give me this bottle, Bruno. Oh, the smell on this. The nose on this is phenomenal. Mm. All right. Scotch test dummies. Ooh, cilantro. Cilantro. Loving it. See you guys later. Bye. Should I keep doing the tested? Yeah. I mean, okay, you like that? Like That's that. almost signature. Tested!